We continue to look ahead at players who could have an impact on the 2024 NAIA football season. Today, we're looking at five of the top receivers who will be returning to their teams for the fall. Let's begin our list with a receiver who has started his collegiate career at the top. Eli Norse had a stellar freshman campaign, resulting in being named first team All-American. Norse led the Montana Western Bulldogs and was third in the country in receiving yards per game with 107.8. Norse had eight 100-yard receiving games, including a 13-catch, 169-yard outing against Southern Oregon, in which he also had two TD catches. Zach Norton is heading into his fifth season with the Morningside Mustangs. The redshirt senior has a national championship on his resume as a member of the 2021 squad, a season in which he averaged 19.8 yards per reception. He also has All-American status on that resume. Norton comes into the 2024 season with more than 3,300 receiving yards for his career. Last year, he was named to the all GPAC first team as he hauled in 76 catches, fifth most in the country, and recorded 956 receiving yards and 10 TD receptions, and that was with a two-quarterback system in which one of the QBs was mainly a rushing quarterback. It's fair to say that through two seasons with Graceland, we haven't yet seen all that Gerald Monroe brings to the table. Through just four games on the field in 2023, Monroe put up numbers to the tune of 721 receiving yards, averaging 180.3 yards per game, and caught 11 touchdown passes. Two of those four games were four TD games. The junior has averaged 149.3 receiving yards per game in his entire time with the Yellow Jackets. If things go well for Graceland this season and Monroe has a healthy Cade Ross to throw to him throughout the year, there could be some pretty big receiving numbers and a fair amount of W's to go along with them. Austin Jablonski set a new school record for receiving yards at Concordia on his way to being recognized as a first-team All-American in 2023. The senior had 91 receptions for a new Bulldog high of 1,134 yards and had eight receiving touchdowns. And Coach Patrick Daberko has been fortunate to have versatile receivers on his team year after year. Jablonski had two rushing touchdowns and threw one as well. Oh, and he's the starting kick returner. His versatility has been on display since he got to Seward. Jablonski was the starting quarterback for the Bulldogs his sophomore season before settling in as a star receiver. It doesn't seem to matter what sport it is at Indiana Wesleyan. It's going to be successful. The Wildcats football team is no different. Levi Tidwell has improved with each season for IWU and was the go-to guy in the receiving core. Tidwell had 77 receptions on the year in 2023 and recorded 1,164 yards averaging 97 yards per game. The grad student was also recognized for what he does in the classroom. To go along with being named to the first team of the All-Mid-States Mid-East team, Tidwell was also recognized as an academic All-American this past year. At Midwest Sportsnet, we're looking forward to seeing these players and so many more take to the field in 2024. Please continue to enjoy the videos here on the channel. God bless you and have a great day.